All right, mushroom farmers, this is my 55 gallon barrel atmospheric steam sterilizer. I'm getting ready to build it. It's my third one. It's a huge asset to my business. It's a huge time saver. It makes me money every week because this is how I sterilize the five pound mushroom blocks. It's 120 volts, so you can just plug it into the wall. Guys, if you don't have a 55 gallon barrel sterilizer, you need to like, subscribe, check out my content, check out my website. Fifty-five gallon barrel sterilizer parts list. First things first, you are gonna need a fifteen amp breaker and a wall timer outlet. So you're either gonna have to do it or you're gonna have to get an electrician to put you in a 15 amp breaker, but everything is gonna run off 120 volts. So you can plug it into the wall, but it needs to be a 15 amp breaker. So if you're not experienced, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it, call an electrician. But that is one thing I wanna mention before we even get started. You will need a 15 amp breaker. Here it is. You're gonna need a 55 gallon barrel, rust interior lining with bung holes and make sure it has a lid. You're gonna need a 120 volt, 1500 watt water heater element. You're gonna need a stainless steel float valve. You're gonna need a hot pod kettle element enclosure. You're gonna need a half inch galvanized 90. You're gonna need a drum dolly to move this drum around. You're gonna need an extension cord. You're gonna need a temperature controller with a probe. You're gonna need a bucket. You're gonna need some gasket maker, high torque. You're gonna need some type of anti-rust coating. You're gonna need a water pressure regulator. You're gonna need a brass double connector. You're gonna need a half inch valve. You're gonna need another half inch valve. You're gonna need some knockout punches to make perfect holes in your barrel. And you're gonna need a wall timer. 15 amp breaker. We've got our three quarter by three quarter washing machine hose. We've got an extension cord. We've got a water heater wrench. And your hot pod kettle element are gonna come with some O-rings and some nuts. And for tools, you're gonna need some drill bits. You're gonna need a tape measure. You're gonna need a crescent wrench or some type of wrench. When you go to take these blocks out, you're gonna need some work gloves. You're gonna need a water pressure regulator to control the pressure going into the barrel. And I think that's it, you guys. I think we covered everything you're gonna need. If you want the complete parts list with sizes, serial numbers, hyperlinked, everything you need, Check out my website, we got it available. But if not, you should be able to figure it out. It's not too, uh, it's not too complicated. Much love you guys.